take a closer look at the adverbial complement. The adverbial complement differs to an adverbial because it is obligatory. You cannot leave it out. Let's look at a case where in number one it's an adverbial. The old man was eating in the restaurant and here in the restaurant is an adverbial. Why? Because in an adverbial you can not include it and the clause would still be complete. The old man was eating. Syntactically it's possible to stop there. Semantically it's possible to stop there. Turning our attention to number two, the old man was in the restaurant. In the restaurant is, it looks like an adverbial, but what are you left with? The old man was. And so you cannot leave it out. And when you cannot leave an adverbial out, it then takes on the clausal function of adverbial complement. Because the sentence or the clause would not be complete without it. Look at a few more examples. Liz, in number three, Liz is in the park. In the park is an adverbial complement. So too is number four. I put the cookies in the pantry. Because you can't stop it, I put the cookies. Your listener or, your, or, the, or the reader would be waiting for you to complete your utterance. Adverbial complements occur only in these two positions, directly after the predicator, as in number three, and in number four, directly after the object complement. Adverbials, on the other hand, are not usually as restricted in position or in reference. So, for example, you could have an adverbial in three, and you could have <coughs> yesterday. No, you wouldn't be able to say yesterday, would you? You'd say just now. Liz is in the park. Alternatively, you could say Liz is in the park just now. You could even get away with Liz, comma, just now, comma, is in the park. Um, in number four, you could conceivably say yesterday. I put the cookies in the pantry. I put the cookies in the pantry yesterday. And adverbials you can remove or you can relocate. But an adverbial complement is obligatory. Hope that makes it clear for you. Music